in this tutorial we will try to cover some advanced topics um, like how to change a score and things like that the main feature of this website is that it can be used in a street cricket <laughs> uh, so it's designed such a way that anything can be changed let's start with suppose um, you need to change team score so you see this button here just press this button and here you can change team score it's very easy simple you just fill the form press the save button that's it another thing that you must have noticed is that whenever I press some action the background turns into pink it is because uh, it's just to say that it's processing so at that time you don't have to do any action like it's again background turned pink and main foreground is there this is number two if you want to change a striker like a striker is facing and uh, suppose they said uh, the, the other team argued oh it's not a run or something like that and you just have to change the striker you press this button which says a striker and it will just change the striker now you see the other batsman came on strike let's say uh, sec third thing can be that you selected one baller and uh, as he went for the run up like to his mark captain said oh i'm changing the baller or something and you have to change the baller you just press this button and here you can select another baller so again it's very simple the thing can be to change the score of a batsman suppose you make some mistake and you want to change score of the batsman so you already see this pencil icon pencil icon means pencil icon means you can edit so just you click here and here you can change his score how many runs he made how many balls sixes and things like that you can change his score similarly for baller you can do is you can change his stats here so if you want to change baller something let's say you put a wide but it was a no ball you made a mistake just click on his name uh, and you can change it or click on the pencil icon next to him suppose you make a single hair so it's his second ball and a single run is scored okay and the batsmen are changed now they say empire says no it was a dead ball what can you do you have to go back so first you'll change the score you'll put 17 here and you'll put one here so now team score is changed back but you have to also change ballers score so his this is his first over so zero over is finished balls in this over you'll make then one number of balls thrown this is different from balls in this over balls are the legal balls and number of balls thrown are like uh, how many he has thrown including the nose and the wides so you change this and then you save button as it was a single run you have to change a striker back so in the three steps you un you did a undo to your last step first you change the team score then you change the ballers baller stats and then you change the striker sometimes you don't have to change the striker let's say if there were two runs so and yes i forgot i'm sorry you have to also change the runs given to the batsman so this is how you undo if a run is given now let's say batsman gets out away two player gets out away three comes in and he also gets out
you can select fielder also who did him run out it will come in the uh, in the scorecard so he also got out but then there was a fight as i said this is designed for ev uh, for all the scenarios so now there is a fight they say oh it was not a run out it was this it was that and finally you have to bring the batsman back so bringing back the batsman this is another com advanced topic i'm covering which is done in not in single step first you have to send out the away four batsman who is on a strike make sure he is on a strike not the other one and you send him out you can put him retired right now and don't select the next batsman leave the next batsman empty and it becomes it the situation becomes like this that one batsman is missing then you click on the run out batsman who was run out and it asks you up are you sure you want to bring back you say yes so basically if you click on the out type like bold retired uh, run out whatever is written here if you click here you can bring back the batsman and if you click on the player name you can edit his stats i hope this makes sense In other video I showed you that if there is a 6 or a 4 you have to just touch the ground where it happened. That's all you have to do. Touch it, not drag it, just touch it. If you have to end the innings, meaning first innings is going on and uh, let's say um, now you want to end it although the innings will automatically end when the overs are finished or the when the team is all out but this end innings one main innings button is for per one main purpose let's say away team is batting first and they are doing that paper scoring they don't want to do or they are not familiar with this system and they are not doing this uh, uh system they are not using the system so once their betting finishes now you want to do use your system so okay you can have his wagon wheels you can have all the reports his strike rates etc etc so but you are on second innings so how will you do that you'll just log in to the uh, system like in previous videos we have covered getting started you'll as soon as you see this page you'll end the innings enter their total that they have scored extras they have made overs they have played so once you put this and save the button it will end this innings and put you to the second innings we'll come to that also how to manage second innings but i'm just right now sharing all these functions so now what we'll do is we'll end the innings so that we can see how the next innings start if over is finished or all players got out then it will automatically end but for this demo we are just ending the innings here runs so now once the innings end now second innings start in the second innings you get a very nice equation of how many runs needed and how many balls at what run rate run rate will come when there is some activity and even when you log in for the second innings the system looks like this remember you have to click these links to select the batsman two batsmen you'll put and then you have to select the baller don't forget to select the baller so second innings starts like this then once you make a run now the required run rate is there also